I am sure all of us remember those days when we had to show a negative report of COVID-19 test before we could travel. Whether we had any symptoms or not, all of us had to take that COVID-19 test. It was because of many of us with COVID-19 had no symptom. So, to stop the spread of the infection, it was important to ensure that all those traveling were COVID-19 negative and were not carrying the virus within them. People entering a hospital also had to show a negative COVID-19 test report. Obviously, it was important to find all those with COVID-19 and give them the best of medical and social support. But it was equally important to protect those who were COVID-19 negative from getting infected in the first place. Same is the case for tuberculosis or TB as we call it. Both TB and COVID-19 are airborne infections and breaking the chain of transmission of infection remains key to tackle all infectious diseases. If we want to stop the spread of TB infection, we must screen everybody. As many of us with TB may have no symptoms at all, especially in high TB burden settings. Around 40 to 50 years back, rich nations like Australia and Japan had screened everyone for TB regardless of symptoms and put them on treatment with medicines that were available back then. They did it repeatedly year after year and TB rates in those countries declined to elimination levels. Why it was not done worldwide, especially in high TB burden countries, is another story of inequity and injustice and the global north versus global south divide. But about 10 years back, in a part of Vietnam, a similar strategy to find all TB was adopted. Every adult was offered a TB test, that is sputum spear microscopy and the gene expert molecular test. All those diagnosed with the disease were put on treatment. They did this exercise year after year and by the end of the fourth year, TB rates in that region dipped by over 70%. TB rates in children too declined by 50%. Today in 2024, there are battery operated, laboratory independent and point of care and decentralized tools to screen and diagnose people with TB. These battery operated and lab independent point of care tools can be put in a suitcase and taken closer to the communities, literally on their doorsteps. In Philippines, a municipal health officer, Dr. Samantha Tinse, made use of a battery operated handheld ultra portable x-ray of Fujifilm and she used TrueNAT, the one and only point of care molecular test recommended by the WHO. This molecular test is made by the Indian company Molbio. Samantha took these two tools in a suitcase and went from islet to islet in a boat, screening everyone for TB with X-ray, testing those with presumptive TB with TrueNAT and offering same-day treatment services. The results were astonishing. TB screening jumped by over 1200% and TB case finding shot up by 400% within a year in those islets. TB treatment success rate also went up to 98% in these places 
against the national average of 70% in Philippines. A similar thing has happened in Uttar Pradesh state of India recently. This state reports the highest number of people with TB in India, a country which we all know has the largest TB burden globally. In Uttar Pradesh, ultra-portable X-ray and TrueNet molecular tests were deployed at the block level and over 625,000 TB patients were found in 2023, the highest ever in any year in the state. In Timor-Leste, X-ray and molecular test TrueNet was put in a van and this lab on the wheels went closer to the communities and TB case notification went up manifold. In Nigeria too, a similar approach of using lab on the wheels is being deployed where X-ray and TrueNet are going closer to the people for finding more TB. Many other countries like Bangladesh for instance are taking labs closer to the people to help find those with TB. So if we screen everyone with x-ray, we can find more of those who have no symptoms but may have the TB disease and might be spreading it to others unknowingly. This is an ultra portable battery operated x-ray of prognosis, a part of Malbio group being used to screen everyone in a health camp in one of the most underserved districts of Meghalaya. X-ray is a screening tool, which means that a person who is presumed to have TB in an X-ray must be offered an upfront molecular test to confirm TB as per the WHO recommendations. Scientific evidence shows that smear microscopy, if used as a diagnostic tool, misses a lot of TB cases and underperforms in diagnosing TB. Microscopy may find only 35 to 40 percent of TB patients, whereas a WHO recommended molecular test may find almost all. That is why WHO's highest level initiative, Find, Treat, All, that was first launched in 2018, calls upon all governments to replace microscopy 100% with upfront molecular testing by 2027. If we have to end TB, we have to stop missing TB cases. If we use microscopy as an upfront test, we will miss a lot of TB cases, even among those who take a TB test. We have to find all TB, as it is the entry gate to TB care pathway. And all those found with the TB disease or diagnosed with it must be put on effective treatment at the earliest. But are we treating them with medicines that work on them? Drug susceptibility testing or DST is a test that tells us whether the medicines used to treat TB will work for a person or not. DST test tells us if TB bacteria in that person is sensitive or resistant to different medicines used in TB treatment. That is why Dr. Mario Raviglion, who is the former WHO director of Global TB program, says that not doing DST upfront before starting treatment is a clinical mark practice. It is almost a crime. We have to treat people with TB with medicines that work on them. If people with TB disease of the lungs get treated with medicines, that work on them, they soon become non-infectious and stopping the spread of infection is important if we are to end TB. It is also important 
to treat TB with the latest regimens which are of shorter duration, less toxic and more effective. There is a one month long regimen to treat those with latent TB, a four months long regimen to treat those with drug sensitive TB and a six months long regimen to treat those with drug resistant forms of TB. Finding all TB, doing DST for all of them, initiating the latest regimens to treat TB quickly and supporting each of them through the treatment so that all of them can reach the cure line is the pathway to end TB. A research paper published on 22nd March 2024 also reinforces the need to screen everyone for TB in high burden settings and find all or almost all TB and then link all of them to effective treatment. Treatment is also prevention. When we treat people with TB with effective medicines, they soon become non-infectious or untransmittable. There is a lot more we can do to prevent TB like infection control in the healthcare facilities, infection control in communities and homes. Then again, malnutrition is the biggest risk factor worldwide for TB. A recent Lancet paper says food is the TB vaccine we already have. So nutrition is essential. Ending tobacco and alcohol use will reduce TB risk as well as have many other health and social benefits. HIV infection also increases the risk of TB. So integrated TB and HIV responses are a must. Then again, diabetes management and prevention too will go a long way in ending TB. We can do so much more to make combination prevention for TB a reality for everyone. Communities are the backbone of the fight against TB. We have to listen to the people we serve. We are to end TB. There is no pathway other than to find all TB, treat all TB and prevent all TB. But let us not forget that we have to tread this pathway in a people-centric, human rights-based and gender-transformative manner.